Hello friends, here I have created an app which displays the WhatsApp status messages and we can save these status messages to download folder. So these are the status messages and suppose if I click on save, it will get saved in the download folder. Now let's check the download folder for this message. The name of this file starts with 0, it is 02458. So let's go to the file manager here in download folder here is this image which starts with 0. So you can see that it is saved in the download folder. So I will show you how to do this or create this in Sketchware. So in Sketchware we need a list view for displaying all the saved status messages, all the status messages which we have seen, only those will be displayed. So here I have a list view and it has a custom view, custom.xml. So here I have created a custom view, custom.xml. This contains an image view 1 with width and height 200. Then I have a text view 1. This is for displaying the file name and I have text view 2 which is the save button and I have linear 2 for which the gravity is center horizontal. Let us go back to main.xml. Here in event area in on create I have used a refresh block which is more block. You can directly put the codes in on create all these codes. So these codes will display the WhatsApp status messages in the app. So first I get the status messages from get external storage directory slash WhatsApp slash media slash dot statuses slash. This is the folder which contains all the status messages. So I get the list of all the files in that folder to a list string list 1. Here this list 1 is a list string. After that I get all the items from list 1 and add it to a list map. For that I have used a number variable n and I have set this number variable n to 0 and for the length of list 1 I add a key media with value get at n of list string list 1 to list map map list 1 for which I created this list map map list 1 and then n increase 1. So this will add all the items from list 1 to map list 1. After that I display the map list 1 in list view 1 using these two blocks set list custom view data and after this in list view 1 on bind custom view I set the text of text view 1 it will display the file name by using this block get last segment path of get value at position key media of list map map list 1 this will display the name of the file in text view 1 after that I check if the file this is the file path get value at position key media of list map map list 1 this is the file path so if the file path ends with dot mp4 which means if it is a video then I get the thumbnail of the video by using this code bitmap bmap is equal to thumbnail utils dot create video thumbnail map list 1 dot get position dot get media dot to string this is the file path of the video and after that android dot provider dot media store dot video dot thumbnails dot full screen kind this will get the thumbnail to bmap which is a bitmap form and then I display the bitmap form in image view 1 image view 1 dot set image bitmap bmap and if it is not a video that means it is an image and in that case I display the image in image view 1 from its file path image view 1 set image from file path get value at position key media of list map map list 1 so this will display the image in image view 1 
after that I have this block when text view 2 is clicked it is available here when view is clicked in variables so when text view 2 is clicked I set the string file name to get last segment path of get value at position key media of list map map list 1 so this will be the file name and the destination path will be get public directory type directory downloads this is the destination directory downloads join the slash and the file name so it will be the path where the new file will be added in the downloads directory with the same file name which it had so after that i copy the file path of that image get value at position key media of list map map list one to the path destination path this is the destination path which is in download directory so this path is copied to the download directory and after that i toast a message file saved in download folder so that's all is required and it will save the image or video to download directory so that's all in this video thank you very much for watching this